Guys, I am stoked to show you this recipe. This is one of my all-time favorites, which I know I say every time, but I mean it. Um, we've got tonight's salmon burgers. I've got some coho salmon from my dear, dear friends, as you know, New England Fishmongers. This is like off cuts of salmon that maybe didn't make the cut of being that perfect filet, but it's perfect for uh, making salmon burgers. It's already kind of cut up, um, ready to go. So salmon burger, coho wild caught salmon from Alaska. And we're gonna uh, make the burgers, get them ready, let them sit in the fridge for a little bit so they, they keep their form. And um, that's it, it's gonna be really simple. So let's jump into it. Let's build our burgers. If you can't find salmon burger uh, cut up like this, you can take a, a filet from the grocery store, cut it into cubes, put it in the freezer for 15 minutes, and then hit it with a food processor a couple times just to break it up, but it's nice to freeze it first. So into our burger, we have chopped cilantro, about half a cup, third of a cup, pickled ginger, which is just your pickled ginger from, um, you know, like sushi restaurant. Uh, and then you just chop that up. So quarter cup of that, let's say. A little less than half a red onion diced up. In you go. We have, um, I got some lemon aioli here uh, that I made, but you can use a little bit of mayo and that will just kind of help everything stick together. But this is where you can have some fun with it, make it your own. So a little lemon aioli, not a whole lot. Soy sauce, we'll say two tablespoons. And then just some salt and pepper, very, very simple. And we'll start mixing that up. This is actually, um, something my, my good buddy Dylan, his mom, uh, Carolyn, would make for us all the time. But it comes from a Gwyneth Paltrow uh, <laughs> recipe book, which is a little interesting fun fact. Um, I didn't know Gwyneth Paltrow was big into cookbooks, but she is. So there's our salmon burger meat, and we will build our patties now. Sorry guys, almost forgot on you. Um, a little bit of panko breadcrumbs too. This is another thing that just kind of helps it form as a burger. Um, a, little, a little thing that I added uh, separately. So add in some panko, third of a cup-ish. And that will help form the burgers. Now one trick with these that I learned by trial and error is it's really nice to make the burgers and then let them sit in the fridge uh, to kind of sit and form. Otherwise, if you make them and you throw them right on the skillet or whatever, they just kind of fall apart. So I do about an hour and a half, but you can go longer than that. Um, but I would say that's a safe bet. Um, it's at least to an hour and a half. So I think a, this is about a pound, um, the salmon burger. And this is kind of the perfect amount, in my opinion, for two. Nice, hearty-sized salmon birds. This giant salmon meatball right there. So let's see how we do. I've got uh, a little vegetable oil down on this parchment paper so the burgers don't stick. That's pretty large, not gonna lie to you. It's gonna be intense. Go big or go home, right? Could probably stretch this out into three burgers. But after that, you'd be getting a little skimpy. Oh, yeah. That. I got my buns right here, these nice brioche buns. I'm kind of using them as the gauge for how big we can go with these. That thing's friggin' huge. It's all right, we'll make it work. Okay, so got our burgers made. We will, I'll put another piece of parchment right on top of this and then I'll throw it in the fridge for an hour and a half. 
and then we will revisit this. Stay tuned. So let's let them rip. I've got the cast iron skillet heated up with vegetable oil. You want to use a oil with a high smoke point. Um, if you're feeling fancy, avocado oil is good. We're going to go medium high here. And let's get them on. We will do this gingerly so we don't break our nice patties. You're a little more careful with these than maybe a burger patty, just because of the way they're formed. So take your time. I'm gonna shoot for around four minutes a side. We just want a nice kind of brown crust on it. And uh, we'll baste it a little bit to make sure it cooks through. So, uh, don't want to mess with them for at least two to three minutes. Um, Got to make sure they get a little crust first before I try to move them around or they're going to fall apart. So, as difficult as it is, try to remain patient. With this size uh, salmon burgers, I'm going to baste them a little bit. Help them cook all the way through. It's a thicker burger, so just doing the, the outsides may not cook it all the way through. So this helps a little bit. They have a pretty high uh, fat and moisture content in them, so you're gonna get a little splatter. So just be careful with this. You know, always be basting away from you. You can do this every 30 seconds or so. It's just gonna help it cook evenly. about two minutes in, I'm still gonna let them sit. I can start to see the crust forming on the bottom, which is gonna be nice. So this one pretty quick, um, probably about three minutes a side or so. But I feel good about it because we've been basting. We've got a hot pan. We have a nice crust on both sides. So let's get this off. Got a pretty solid crust on the bottom. Happy with that. So we'll put this on a wire rack here. Let those chill for a bit. In the meantime, I've got a couple brioche buns. We're just gonna give them a quick toast. So a little unsalted butter on our skillet we've been warming up here. These go pretty quick. You just want to get a little color on them. All right, let's give that a quick toast. This is something you want to keep uh, your eye on. I feel like I've, any backyard barbecue, I've burnt buns a thousand times, so. It's a pretty quick process, as you can see. I mean, this is a matter of seconds, so. Let's get that off. Our colossal burgers are cooked and ready. They look intimidating and delicious. I've got some sriracha mayo here, um, just literally sriracha in mayo, depending on how spicy you want it, and a squeeze of lime if you got it, but not essential. So we will sriracha mayonnaise, both sides of the bun here. And we're not gonna put a ton of toppings on this because we've got all that nice stuff mixed into our salmon burgers. So nice, even coat on our buns. That'll do that. Let's get our salmon burgers on here. A touch large. We're not afraid to top. All I do is a little bit of a spicy green. Um, I have a mix of watercress and arugula. 
either or is fine, both, but um, really nice to have a spicy green like that. So if you can't find watercress, um, grab some arugula. Or if you're feeling adventurous, mix them both. So, it's a little too much, too much there. Okay. Watercress and arugula. That's it. It's that simple. Coho salmon burgers. It's beautiful ground salmon from New England fishmongers. They're big, but they're not too big. Let's give it a try. Having a moment, sorry. So good. Got a little kick. The pickled ginger's great. Perfectly cooked inside. It's nice to get that crust. Give it a little bit of basting if you have a thicker burger. But that's killer. Don't need much besides the sriracha mayo and the, uh, the greens. So I'm going to crush this. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks to England Fishmongers for hooking it up. You guys got to try this one. Give us a shot if you have any questions. See ya.